Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and here it is confirmed. The predictions were all accurate from last week that the new GTA DLC is going to be coming on August the 11th. That's next Tuesday and we've got some information about it and we've got some images as well and some quite interesting ones. So I'll zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Obviously first new vehicle that we can see. We saw a brand new vehicle from the uh, the previous sort of mini update and this is going to give us the the more detail on what we're going to get is the Los Santos Summer Special. Make the most of the remaining dog days of the Southern San Andreas Summer with a host of new activities hitting GTA Online next week, featuring everything from tense new co-op missions launched from your super yacht to the track-based thrills of new open wheel races to a fleet of new vehicles to acquire and much more. Summer in Los Santos has something for everyone. So I'll preface this by saying it seems like this isn't a sort of a major new business or new thing in particular. It's going to be a lot of smaller additions that are likely going to be released with the drip feed over the course of, you know, the next few months. So interesting that they're going to be giving a, a, a reason for us to use our yachts, if anyone has one. As it says, Galaxy Super Yacht owners will be able to engage in an all new series of missions, either alone or with up to three shipmates. Everything from deep sea diving to high speed hijinks on the high seas, there's action for sailors of all stripes. Pretty interesting. I like the idea of that. A lot of these things that we're about to see, they all do seem to be very mission slash job based. There isn't like, a, you know, we, we had the casino, we've had businesses added. This update isn't going to be anything like that, I don't think. So set your expectations accordingly. Um, between deliveries and sales, the upwardly mobile can take to the streets in new business battles in some surprising locations for serious rewards. The Diamond Casino and Resort will also see a range of adversary modes taking place on the premises. So again, like I said, game modes, additions to that in new locations, that's what we're going to be seeing from this update. Meanwhile, auto websites will be flooded with more than a dozen new vehicles to purchase, so more than 12 vehicles we're going to be getting, again, probably not immediately it's going to be in the drip feed who knows how many we'll get on release day including rides for benny to customize interesting that we're going to be getting benny ve benny's vehicles again um it's been a long time since we last had a, a vehicle to customize a benny's off-roaders tunable sports cars and a pair of new open wheel beauties push them to the limits in a series of new open wheel races or design your own street circuit with the new open wheel race creator and if we just scroll down a little bit more, there's one of the two new open wheel cars. Pretty interesting. So, you know, in the previous DLC, we obviously had the addition of open wheel racers and open wheel vehicles, and they made a separate class, the open wheels race class, you know, just like supercars, sports cars, muscle, whatever it is. Open wheels became a brand new class in the game. And even back then, I was saying that they wouldn't have made a brand new class just for two vehicles. You know, there's going to be more open wheel cars coming, I'm sure. And, you know, here we are. We're going to get two new vehicles. This obviously looks like an Indy car. What we're going to get as the other one, is it going to be a more modern Formula One style car? Is it going to be Formula E? Something like that. Who knows? We don't know what the other one's going to be, but there's going to be two new vehicles added to the open wheel class in addition to new open wheel races. By the way, keep in mind, the old open wheel cars, the PR4 and the R88, those are based on sort of 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, depending on, they, they take cues from different eras, but that's generally the era that you see. And those are upwards of $3 million. A more modern open wheel style car, it's going to set you back a pretty penny, I'm sure. But yeah, the open wheel creator was also something that was discovered in the previous update and it's been in the game files since the Casino Heist update. It's just never been in a state where it was possible to release it and we've been waiting for a new downloadable update to have that and we have confirmation here that at some point we are going to get the open wheel creator. Again, all of the stuff on this page, we're not going to get all of this on day one. You know, it's not going to be August the 11th. We open up the game and all of this is available. Some, a small portion of it will be. And then they'll release a car every single week as normal on Thursdays. And they'll, you know, release new game modes, whether it's the, uh, the yacht stuff or new adversary modes, things like that. It's kind of a, a smaller scale DLC, it seems, for the summer. 
um, with the potential to be able to drip feed that content out a little bit in preparation for the big DLC coming in the winter, which it talks uh, about here. Um, plus a number of general improvements and fixes, as well as our ongoing series of weekly special events and bonuses to take part in over the coming months. Again, the same idea. Once the summer Los Santos Summer Special hits GT Online on August the 11th, stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for more details, as well as more info on what's to come later this year when heists return in GTA Online's biggest ever update. So obviously we've heard about that previously. Heists are coming back in a, a, a different way. Uh, I very much doubt it's going to be a new map or anything like that that people are saying, but a new location, maybe you know a new place to do a heist on the map, maybe Fort Zancudo, a new building, something like that. It's going to be a big update in the winter. This is kind of a, a smaller scale update with new game modes that they can drip feed every week or every couple of weeks to keep us going until that big update in likely early December. So yeah, I mean, obviously these new cars, I'm going to be testing them as always. Every single uh, every single Thursday when a new vehicle is released, I'll be getting the car out there on the track for lap time and top speed will be able to you know the open wheel creator will become a thing so i'll be able to properly test the open wheel cars i have done it already of course but i'll be able to do them in you know the, the usual way that i do and make a video for those as well um and yeah new open wheel vehicles should be interesting it'll be interesting to see what they're like how quick they will be will they be the new kings around the circuit probably uh, looking at the looking at that um, new vehicles for Benny, off-roaders, sports cars. It'll be an, it'll be an interesting mix of vehicles. I will be testing them. I am going to be streaming on uh, the Tuesday morning as well, so feel free to follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. I'll leave a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. The way that I always run these DLC days is I start at about 9 a.m. UK time on Twitch. We sort of wait for things to, to happen, get prepared for it. Then throughout the Twitch stream, I look into everything, take a, a, a you know a good amount of time to go through everything and look at everything and uh, investigate a few things. You know whether downforce is still the same, advanced handling flags are still the same, all that kind of stuff. They usually are, but you know we need to check these things. Looking at any new content, looking at what we will have in the drip feed, any orders of drip feed. Basically, during the first two or three hours during that Twitch stream of the DLC going live, normally it goes live around. 10 a.m. UK time, um, we, we find out a lot about what we've got and also what we've got to come. And then I end the Twitch stream whenever you know I feel like I've discovered everything and then move over to YouTube. So I'll be doing a YouTube stream after the Twitch stream, which will be a lot more condensed, go quickly over everything that we found during the Twitch stream um, and, and, you know, talk about it in a much more easy to digest way. So you can either be there for the Twitch stream for, you know, the discovering of everything uh, as we go through, or you can hold off for the YouTube stream uh, and you'll see it all, you know, all the findings that we found from the Twitch stream, or obviously that will become a video as well. The YouTube live stream will become a video on YouTube as well for you to watch afterwards. Not necessarily sure that I'll be doing any testing on the first day, on Tuesday, in terms of car testing. It's always a little bit iffy whether I can get that done um, because there is just so much going on. But any new cars that are released, of course, you know, I'll be getting the videos out as soon as possible. Drip feed videos, you know, talking about the vehicle. I always obviously do a showcase on Project Homecoming of all the vehicles that aren't released on the DLC day, but they are released you know, in the drip feed, I go through, line them all up. Uh, you get to see what the vehicles are called, what they are in game, because Project Homecoming tends to get access to them a little bit earlier. And I do a video that explains the prices, when we're going to get them, the order that we get them, all that kind of stuff. All of that will obviously be coming as well. So, you know, it's obviously a lot of work that goes into these DLC weeks. There'll be a lot of videos to come. Make sure you're subscribed and notifications on, all that kind of stuff, uh, following me on Twitch, things like that. And uh, I'll keep you as up to date as possible when it comes to the open wheel creator, when that's released, what we can do with it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, we're not going to get all of this stuff immediately, but as soon as it as soon as it comes, I'll be I'll be on top of it for you guys. And and uh, yeah, continually testing for lap time and top speed as I always do. All right, that's all for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're excited for. Uh, for, for some new vehicles again. It's been quite a while and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.